The sticky column is a feature that comes with the Jetrix add-on from Croco Block. If you buy Croco Block, the whole package, it will be included. But if you just want to get the Jetrix add-on as a standalone, also look at the link below in the description. The sticky column is in effect. That's what it is, and it is something that you should not overuse. And the best way to explain it is, well, to show you how to do it. The first thing you have to know is that it only applies to columns, not to sections, not to widgets. So nothing here on the blue will work, nothing here on this blue will work. You have to go here to the column. And the idea behind it is, is that as you scroll up and down, this column will move with the scrolling where it has been applied. In this case, for example, I have the text here. Let's say this is a post page of some kid who went on a gap here, the trip of our lifetime. And now they want to post it here on their post and their blog. But they wrote here and then they have the images here. And of course, there's a lot of white space. We all run into this at some point, this ugly white space. It just doesn't make sense. And because we are not working with InDesign, we cannot have this text link flow over here to a box under here ideal world right but there's a way and this is what the sticky column allows you to do use it carefully as well don't overuse it go to the column here click on it and then on the left in the editor you go to edit column of course and you click on advanced and then you will see here your tab for jet tricks shows up click on that and then you will just see sticky column that's all there is to see and you click on it now you will see two features here top spacing 50 pixels bottom spacing 50 now we'll talk about that one soon the top immediately after i activate it you will see it adds 50 pixels at the top let's deactivate it so you can see that again in action activate it and there's 50 pixels from the top now if you are working with a page like this and you want to space it a little bit more to the middle then we can add in a hundred so now it looks a little bit better. It's also more aligned here with the text and it's less white space here at the bottom. But the feature behind this is, of course, not that. That we can do with padding and margins. The feature is the sticky column. So let me start scrolling and you will see what I mean by it. As I scroll, it goes with the columns adjacent to it. And that's it. There is no other thrills to this feature except that it sticks with the columns adjacent to it. The one I haven't been able to figure out is the bottom spacing because as I scroll down all the way to the bottom, it hits, well, rock bottom. There's no 50 pixels there. So I'm not entirely sure what this 50 pixels is about. If I take it to the top and I add in 100, you will see nothing changes. So this one, I've not quite been able to figure out what the bottom spacing is all about. Then, sticky on. I was looking at this thing the first time and I thought, huh, where did they get these from? Is it some kind of short code or some code or something that I have to type in there? Where do I get that from? The first place you get it from, and the only place you get it from, is by clicking in here. And once I click in here, you will see you've got three options. You can click on mobile, and after that, you've clicked on everything there is to click. If I click on desktop, it goes away. This is just where it's going to display. At this moment, this sticky column is going to be displaying on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Is that a good idea? Probably not. If you go to mobile, it doesn't make sense, right? It just doesn't make sense, unless you've got one mega big screen mobile, and in that case, we call it a TV. So rather deactivate it on mobile and even go check how it looks on tablet. Yeah, it does just doesn't look good freddy so let's deactivate it on tablet as well and even in this case we will have to probably go in and we will have to add you know spacing column widths here it just doesn't look good as it is at this moment so be aware of that i think it's becoming like my mantra right be aware of that because these are uh, it's add-ons it is things that make it a little bit extra a little bit more flashy a little bit more shiny but you and i both know just a little bit more extra shiny and it becomes very campy and cheesy so make use of it in a very very selective way and go and check your responsiveness sometimes the best idea is something like this 
just doesn't work on tablet. You can see it here. And you will have to then, like I said, go maybe in here, change your tablet to something like 100% and pop this one down and then you have to deactivate it. It won't work then. So if we go here and we go to Jet Tricks, oops, now I have to, cannot get in here. There we go. And then we go into Jet Tricks. We will also, oh, it is already deactivated. Ah, hmm. Is it? I deactivated it, right? Okay. Okay. What do we see here? Let's see again. Let's go and update it because it's deactivated on tablet, but you and I both can see it still jumping around there. And let's go view it. Okay, this is our desktop view. Let's just do it by ourselves. Bring it down a little bit. This should be our tablet. Ah, okay. It's working fine on the tablet. Ah, Kroger Block, we have faith in you. And it looks nice. I like it. I really like it. Ah, and I can breathe. We didn't run into a bug. That's also very nice. So this is the sticky column from Jet Tricks, brought to you by Kroger Blocks. And this is JP here with Websites for Beginners.